So it's much cheaper usually to buy bulk soil, and this is the option that I usually go with when I have larger areas to cover. But sometimes in bulk soil you can get some debris in there, sometimes a little bit of rock every once in a while. I've been pretty happy with the stuff that I have here. I've found very few rocks in it or really any debris of any kind other than some larger chunks of soil. So if you're going to be top dressing your yard or leveling your yard, you really don't want to put down a bunch of those chunks because it's just going to add to the bumpiness and it's hard to spread out. So I decided to try out building a soil sifter to put over my wheelbarrow just to be able to kind of sift things right here on the spot and then only get the real fine material to put onto my lawn and this is how I did it I started off by just using some 2x4s and I kind of measured out the size of my wheelbarrow just to figure out how long I needed to cut each side. So whatever size you want it to be or whatever you're going to be using for a cart, that's kind of up to you. Measure out that on how long you want it to be and how wide you want it to be. And on mine I wanted it to rest on top of the cart so that when I put the weight on here it's not going to tip either way. So from there, whatever size you wanted it to be, just cut those boards to size. I just laid out the boards on the driveway so I could get a sense of if that was going to be the right size for me looks good so then what I'm using here for the actual screen is quarter inch hardware cloth and I just got this at Home Depot you can do a little bit larger openings like a half inch if you would like to allow a few larger particles through but I wanted it to be pretty fine so I went with the quarter inch size and that seems to be appropriate for what I'm using here on my soil. So I prefer to sandwich this hardware cloth in between two sets of two by fours that are screwed together. This way I just felt like it would give it a little more stability. I stapled the screen to the two by fours just to hold it into place and that way I could see whether that size was going to work as well. And then we cut the rest of the boards to size and start fastening them over top of this. So it kind of is like, sort of like building a picture frame without the angled corners in it. This is just gonna be square, pretty simple cuts, and nothing really fancy here as far as look goes either. But So then we're ready to pick it up, put it on our cart or wheelbarrow, and I've just been basically putting about two scoops of soil on there, kind of using my hands to sift it around a little bit, and all of the fine stuff goes through. All the other stuff stays on top and then I just pour that other stuff off to a pile. Now this is still soil, it's not like mine is full of rocks or other debris. So I can still use this and I am saving it, but as far as what I wanted to put on my lawn, the less of the bumpy stuff as possible would be great. And obviously it is a little bit slower process shoveling this and actually sifting each thing than it is to just put it straight into the cart. But like I said, the benefits are there and I found that it has worked really well. I'm going to continue to use this here at my front yard as I want some really fine soil to put in there and kind of avoid any more bumps there. So I hope that just gave you a quick video here on how I'm using this soil sifter and how I made it. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.